We've uh, had the opportunity to genomic test a lot of bulls. We've done all of our uh, in-waiting bulls initially, and then we started doing bulls uh, and getting genoma, genomic evaluations uh, on uh, bulls for selection purposes. Our selection criteria has not changed. We've still gone after the, the bulls out of the real solid, true breeding cow families that we felt would continue to provide profitable genetics. I've always maintained that uh, breeders ought to consider uh, fat and protein percents. Uh, uh, and the reason I say that, if you look at uh, genetically, uh, the heritability for fat and protein is double what it is for milk. And I think genomics is an opportunity for us at the that affiliated sires to be selecting uh, within these cow families for uh, traits uh, that is going to increase productive life and fertility. And that's the road we're going. Third in the class, entry 3642, Brookville and Jasper Aka, exhibited by Jeffrey Jet Butler and James Butler of Chavans, Illinois. Second in the class, and first bred known, 3654, Ms. Axel's Dundee Beauty, exhibited by Van Axel, Triple T, Conroy, Sharp and Bennett of Lodi, California. And your winning entry and best utter in the class, entry 3634, High View Jasper Cherry, exhibited by the Chilliwack Cattle Company and RNF Livestock of Warman, Saskatchewan. Congratulations. <laughs> Judge your comments. Well, another really great class, ladies and gentlemen, and I think we set a pattern in our acre cows. We like cows with youth slaughters. They're, they're high, they're wide, the cows, they walk extremely well. And his first cow for us really <laughs> exemplifies that. She's a beautiful side view cow, a cow that's very upstanding in her frame, and very open and clean all the way through, and just has that beautiful high snug udder that we really admire. And she goes over the cow in second, the cow in second is just fresh 20 days, and she's got a lot of, a lot of come to her. But our first cow has that advantage from milking a bit longer. She's more clean through that front end. She's a lot longer and cleaner through her head and neck. She's sharper over the shoulder, shows a bit more openness her rib, and just a cleaner bone all the way through, particularly in that hock region. Also uh, give her advantage, she's showing me just a little bit more height and width to the rear udder all the way through. But a beautiful cow in second. Like I said, this cow in second is just recently fresh really admire her uphill run, her style and that frame. And she has a beautiful front end and it goes over the cow in second. I just like how she blends in that shoulder. She runs uphill a little bit nicer, carries her head a bit higher. She's also a, a bit fuller through that front end. And I think for me, just the, the udder is a little bit higher by the hocks. The second, the third cow also is just recently fresh. Got a tremendously high, bloomy udder. There's just more capacity, a little bit more length to that. The mammary just a little bit nicer in that front end <coughs> placement than another big, powerful cow coming in. And fourth. Fourth over fifth, just some more cow here today. She's taller, she's longer, she's more open in that whole frame than the cow in, in fifth. In, in addition, she just showed me maybe a little bit more silkiness of the mammary system today than another nice dairy cow coming to fifth. Fifth over sixth, just boom, a mammary system, but higher and wider at the top of that rear rudder attachment. Congratulations. 